Bible prophecy is not just about prediction and fulfillment, but it's also about typology and pattern. The Bible says, and the king loved Esther above all the women, and she obtained grace and favor in his sight. In the story of Esther, an evil Persian called Haman is plotting to destroy the Jews. However, the very instrument of death that Haman prepares for the Jews is instead turned on him, and Haman gets hung on his own gallows. Iran is modern day Persia, and it's as clear as day, Iran is preparing a nuclear weapon to destroy Israel. God's people will never be destroyed, and according to the pattern of prophecy, the very weapon Iran is preparing to use on Israel will instead be turned on them. But here's the part of the Esther story most people overlook. Before the evil Persian is destroyed, Esther puts on royal clothes and enters the king's house, which is a perfect picture of the rapture. Because the Bible says, we shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. And Jesus said, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. So when we see Iran plotting to destroy Israel, we know it's time for us to go and see the king.